China's real estate market is one of the fastest growing markets in the world. Following the growth of this industry, Outlook Business Spotlight organized the first edition of its Realty Awards, which was recently held in Hyderabad. This award brought industry leaders under one roof to discuss the impact that the industry is having on the economy of the nation. This is the first edition of Outlook Business Spotlight Realty Awards and it's my pleasure to do the welcome address today as I see India's real estate market is one of the most dynamic and fastest growing in the world. We've seen that after the pandemic shocks of 2020, the recovery has been quick and robust. In fact, the economic survey which was unveiled just a few days back this week in India Inc's investment in real estate in the past one year. And that's a huge number and a very commendable number to quote. Simply because this is apt that we, and that is because it is apt that we do our first edition of this event in Hyderabad. It's time discussions around realty moves to become more the subject of serious research and serious journalism. With that hope, I throw this event open. Welcome to all of you once again. The sidelines of the awards saw an interesting panel discussion on the impact of technologies, delivery timelines and carbon footprints on the industry. With, with the advent of UH technology like, you know, uh, virtual tours and, uh, uh, you know, augmented reality. So how has that reshaped the way, you know, how properties are purchased in the country? Customers have, uh, have been more knowledgeable, you know, due to a uh, lot of the initiatives that are happening and uh, even in uh, construction industry there are certain things uh, which surprises me when I hear it from a customer, like, you know, whether this is a green certified building, whether are you doing something for, you know, carbon footprint, or whether you are reducing uh, something on this. The customers are looking at, you know, timelines again. If you have to complete in uh, complete a high-rise building like you know 30 floors or 40 floors in uh, under three years then you need to adapt to whatever uh, innovative systems are coming in our way like you know you need to use some proprietary framework systems like uh, new technologies which avoid a lot of uh, timelines and manpower you need to integrate all these systems into your uh, construction practices. I think that uh, customer has the finger, uh, information at the fingertips and uh, the brand presence has become uh, very important in these ages, uh, especially after COVID. I think everyone is out there doing the marketing and all that. So, and uh, we are, have to be very proud that a lot of uh, young builders and also those builders who are doing small apartments are building communities lately. So, in, it's in a way the whole uh, industry is grow, uh, growing big. Looking at that, something that I particularly focused on was uh, doing awareness and uh, also more engaging content and um, which will bring more uh, brand uh, awareness and recall rather than the straightforward digital marketing. Dimish Gadodia, the chairman of Navdurga Group, spoke about the tremendous growth of the Indian realty market on the global stage. Tonight, we recognize not just the remarkable journey of the Indian real estate sector, but also distinguished real estate houses that have played an instrument role in making our housing market an attractive proposition on the global stage. Their continuous pursuit of excellence has done more than elevate our infrastructure. It has set fire to dreams of dreams in the hearts and minds of millions of the Indians. Today, families across the country aspire to live in thoughtful design homes that uplifted their overall living, experience from elegant residence complexes to the state-of-art commercial spaces. These pioneers have set new branches in quality and innovation. In closing, let us honor the pioneers who have shaped our industry and continue to inspire us with their passion and dedication. The real estate in India is shaping up for even greater heights and together we can create a future where every project symbolizes ex excellence and every home is a dream realized. Thank you and congratulations to the award recipient. At the sidelines of the summit, an interesting panel discussion focused on carbon emissions, sustainable development, green buildings and their impact on the environment and the future of the country. So given that almost 40% you know, of uh, the carbon emissions 
that is taking place, it's, it's attributed to the real estate sector. So, so you know, compare that with the Indian scenario. So how is the situation out here? Like, you know, have we made any progress in terms of sustainable development? Or following the green building norms, that it will cost more compared to a normal building. <coughs> Uh, that was the scenario actually when the uh, green building started in the nascent stages. We have progressed a lot from there till now because there are about more than 4,000 certified green building materials are available by uh, IGPC certified, that is Green Pro. <coughs> so they have certified the different materials uh, that are suitable for uh, green buildings. So with the <coughs> certification and uh, uh, affordable material available for following these green building uh, uh, norms. The cost of construction compared to normal building, you'll be surprised, is less than the normal regular building. Uh, generally, people, uh, they register individually. We started a program called Green Crusaders. Right. At one go, in one occasion, an international uh, environment day or Earth Day, Habitat Day, you know, we started uh, Green Crusaders Day calling for the, all the developer friends from Kredai and Nariduku and other, others. So one single day we did it, the first edition I have done about 30 projects. Okay. 30 projects, it's unique. Second edition I have done 38 projects, you know. The third edition about 40, 50 projects. You know, fourth edition about 80 projects. So this is a unique thing, nobody across the globe is doing. We more for concentrate on the industry towards like how it is emerging and what the way we are taking forward. So this is where, you know, again, the government initiatives are what the way we can support it. So with this, you no know, time to time, uh, what happens is being an industry body, uh, we always thrive for, to bring the change, whatever it is. Being high GBC, uh, we used to like, MOU, we have the MOU in the national level uh, to have a, uh, like a 4,000 projects registered up to by 2030. Sandeep Patnaik, the managing director of JLL, drew attention to how a stable government plays a crucial role in the economy of a city. I just wanted to uh, say that a uh, lot of people once uh, uh, the elections were over, the new government came and, and then the Andhra government, Chandrababu Naidu Garu came. A lot of people asked me, um, what will happen to the Hyderabad real estate? A uh, lot of investors will go towards uh, Andhra Pradesh. Uh, I will uh, give you a simple question uh, to the audience. How many of you feel uh, that, that, that a, a stable government is must 100% must for the city uh, economy to grow. And people who don't uh, believe, please raise their heads because I know most of you will believe. People who don't believe that a stable uh, government is must for a city or the state uh, uh, to grow. And I, outside the state, keep telling your friends in, in, in US, Canada, that if they want to invest and they want to get very good returns, Hyderabad is a city. Thank you, thanks a lot. attention was captured when the cover of the August issue of Outlook Business Magazine was unveiled by Shruti Hassan. So what we're going to see be unveiled here in a few moments from now, as I said, is the cover of the Outlook Business Magazine for the month of August. From a performer to a startup investor, she is a woman of worth presenting Shruti Hassan on the cover of the Outlook Business Magazine for the month of August. Could we have a huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen? Louder. Shruti, how does it feel? How do you like the cover? <laughs> Okay, uh, Shruti, you know, we have a lot that we want to discuss with you in terms of your contribution, not just to the world of art and cinema, but all that you're doing as a mental health advocate of the cause of women. As the event progressed, Ms. Suchetna Ray, editor of Outlook Business, gave an understanding on the film industry's transition towards female-oriented topics and gender equality. Some people say this is the best time to be in Indian cinema for a woman. Do you agree? You know, best time to be a woman in Indian cinema, that's a very large topic. That leads you to threads of uh, conversations including pay parity, harassment at work, casting couch, 
equality, the quality and quantity of roles that a woman gets these days. So do you really think it's the best time? I think that in terms of where we've reached in technology, globalization, that every story gets a platform like all of these OTT platforms and that way when you look at it as a business, you see there are so many avenues for it to flourish and um, I'm just saying that as, a, as the movie business. Right. We also have the biggest budgets we've ever had spent on um, Indian films. We're talking like making films at 500 crores and touching a thousand crores and these numbers were like unheard of even 10 years ago. Um, so in that sense, it's uh, financially, uh, like a lot of things where like one end is flourishing and the other isn't like opening up and expanding into say more women led stories or more, or making the women, and this is a problem when people say, up female oriented subjects karing ek And I'm like, no, I think when we talk about a um, male actor, like no one's gone to my father and said, sir, this is a male oriented film, you know, so that orientation concept itself, the more we can eradicate that, the better it is for equality, the, the equality and, the, and, the, and the fact that audiences want to see different kind of stories, mm -hmm. women want to see a reflection of themselves or an aspirational version of themselves. Right. So you have a portfolio of investments, do you? So I've, you know, done the thing of like, okay, your mutual funds, fine, that, but real estate, so I've invested, you know, in places I like and I feel an emotional connection to, then I like to have equity in it. Right. Versus just the endorsement fee or hamara rishta do saal mein khatam ho gaya, I find the great, all the best, buy. You know, so in that way, I've done little, little, little things, which, you know, um, it's a bit risky because you don't know which one will blow up. Of course. But it's something I feel really nice about. So thank you Shruti, it was a scintillating conversation with thank you. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure chatting with you today. I'm hoping you'll like the interview that we did of yours yes, and you'll pick you. up the issue. Thank you very much. Ladies thank and you gentlemen. so much. Thank you everyone. an award ceremony took place where several categories of awards were presented to those who made an impact on the real estate industry. So let's get the ball rolling and let's begin with our first set of awards. And this is for Eco-Friendly Project of the Year 2024. And the award goes to Fortune Greens by Bhuvana Group. Could we have a huge round of applause? And ladies and gentlemen, the award goes to Janmika Developers. Let's move on to our next set of awards and this is for the best upcoming project of 2024 in real estate, Mumbai. And the winner is Royal India Corporation Limited. Could we have a huge round of applause please? from the space that is really growing and upcoming. This is for excellence in electrical and electronic manufacturing and innovation for the year 2024. And the award goes to Radiance Allowed and Electricals Private Limited. Let's move on to our next set of awards and this is for Legacy Builder Award for 25 years of excellence. And the award, ladies and gentlemen, goes to MK Builders. Could we have a huge round of applause, please? Let's move on to the next award and this is for Real Estate Consultant Company of the Year for the year 2024. And the award goes to Tatwa High Life LLP. Could we have a huge round of applause? Let's now move on to our next award, which is for Master of Development Excellence Award for the year 2024. And this goes to the Anvita Group. Our next award, and this is for the Leader in Integrated Paving Solutions. 
resolutions for the year 2024 and this goes to Earth Pavers Hyderabad Private Limited. Let's now move on to our next award. This is for the Visionary Plot Developer of the Decade and this goes to the Building Block Group. Congratulations once again. Let's move on to our next award then and this is for the most admired upcoming project of the year 2024 and ladies and gentlemen this award goes to the Fortune Retreat Green City Srinivasa Estates. Our next category and this is for the innovative project of the year for the year 2024 and this goes to Tucci Tula Hoodie Togetherness Infra Private Limited. Congratulations ladies. Let's move to our next award and this is for the most enterprising director of the year for the year 2024 and this ladies and gentlemen goes to the Sanali Group. Award. This is for the best high-end residential development award and this goes to Bhanodya's Crystal Memesboro Group. Congratulations once again. Let's move to our next award and this is for a visionary real estate entrepreneur of the year 2024 and this goes to the Furza Group. award and this is for the advanced water softening technology award and ladies and gentlemen this award goes to Bonten. congratulations let's continue with our next award ladies and gentlemen and this is for the real estate brand of the year 2024 and this goes to honor homes next award which is for Visionary in Farmland Development Award and this award goes to LBC Real Estates and Agro Farms. Our next award this is for Best Wallpaper Company of the Year for the year 2024 and ladies and gentlemen this goes to Design Walls. award is for value housing project award and the award ladies and gentlemen goes to Primark's Northwave Primark developers let's move to our next award which is visionary plot developer of the year 2024 and this award goes to Mahadev infra developers Our next award is for Residential Apartment Builder of the Year 2024 and this ladies and gentlemen goes to ASBL. Our next award is for Most Trusted Retail Store for Interior Design Products and this goes to Stella. for Emerging Advertising Agency of the Year 2024 and ladies and gentlemen this goes to the Outline Media Private Limited. Let's move to our next award which is for Emerging Builders Association of the Year 2024 and ladies and gentlemen this goes to the Cyberabad Builders Association. ladies and gentlemen is for emerging real estate influencer of the year 2024 and this goes to Varun Real 
Realtors. Our next award, Most Admired Senior Living Community of the Year 2024 and this award goes to Saket Pranamam Most Promising Villa Project of the Year 2024 and this award goes to Vidhatri Villas by Apurupa Deco. Our next award is for Most Influential Interior Design and Architecture Magazine of the Year 2024 and this award ladies and gentlemen goes to A&I Hyderabad. Our next award is for Celebrity Real Estate Expert of the Year 2024 and this award ladies and gentlemen goes to R.C. Rathul. Our next award ladies and gentlemen, Most Admired Real Estate Sales Coach of the Year for the year 2024 and this goes to Venu Kalyan. award of the event. This is for Premier Interior Crafting Personal Sanctuaries and this goes to the Raga Group. On the sidelines of the event, the partners of the awards were also honoured. Sushil Kumar, co-founder of MPF Style Club, spoke about clothing, grooming, automobile and styling that elevates lifestyle. I would like to thank uh, Outlook Business, Business Print, for making us a styling partner. Uh, Style Club is a brand which stands for elevating your lifestyle. We make sure your lifestyle is always just like real estate. It's all about experiences, or it's all about lifestyle. As Style Club, we en enhance your lifestyle by providing you clothing, styling, grooming, and automobile travel, everything that is possible, which is highly personalized and curated for you. We have uh, a 10,000 square foot studio at Jubilee Hills, Hyderabad, opposite Pidamma Temple, where you come and experience several parts of love lifestyle. And I also want to tell you, this is world's first lifestyle makeover studio, which integrates clothing, styling, grooming, automobile, every aspects of lifestyle. And my uh, sincere thanks to everyone and congratulations to everyone who has won the awards today uh, for, for making a huge success in their industry. Vinay Kant Korapati, founder and CEO of Business Mint, thanked everyone who made the first edition of the Outlook Business Spotlight Realty Awards a successful event. I'm happy to associate with uh, Outlook Magazine, the company's support from Outlook team, especially Achna Ma'am and Anil. And uh, I also want to thank uh, some of the uh, partners who have supported us, like uh, Nimi Sir from uh, Navdugar, Navdugar Group, and also our styling partner uh, MPF and uh, we also have uh, many uh, knowledge partners like IGBC, Crede Hyderabad and uh, uh, Naratko Telangana. Uh, we are so glad that we are having you all here, Sandeep Jain sir and also Sandeep Patnaik sir from JLL. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you.